Hey guys, so today we're going to set Lance up with a skateboard. The thing with Lance is he's never set his own skateboard up. I know, mind blown, completely crazy. Everybody out there, <laughs> add me on Instagram. My name is Windows Abel, okay? I'll put a link right here so you can check it out. So let's start with the deck. What do you got here? I'm really stoked about this deck. A white revenge deck. Yeah. I didn't even know this existed. It's extremely classic. Cool, yeah. so what size is this deck, Lance? It's a 775. Yeah, that's right. So it literally means that from right here to right here is 7.75 inches. So a lot of people skate eights. Uh, 7.75 is a little skinnier. That's what I skate. And that's what I have. So that's kind of what Lance ended up with here. So now we're gonna put on the grip tape. So for a new person, this is probably gonna be kind of difficult. We got Jessup, because that comes with every Revive board. That's right, reviveskateboards.com. Basically, the best way to do this is you're gonna peel it off, and then you're gonna put it, like hold it above the board without sticking it on. So you wanna make sure, because a lot of times you'll stick it on and you'll be like, oh, crap. But you wanna like hold it above, and then you're just gonna place it on there, and it's gonna be sticky. And the first thing you'll do is go middle, and then slowly move out. Okay, so I gotta make sure gonna cover everything. Yeah, so you're gonna lay it on there and make sure it's gonna cover the whole board. Great, now you're gonna start from the center, push it down, and then start pushing it out. Another thing I kinda wanna say about gripping your own board is like, you could go to a skate shop and you could buy a board and the person at the skate shop is gonna grip it for you. And that's fine, but um, at some point in time, you kind of want to grip your own board just because, well, it's your own board. You want your own board to be like fully yours. Good, so you did a good job. You started from the middle and pushed out. Now, the next step is you're gonna take any kind of tool. This is just a wrench. You're gonna take that wrench and you're gonna rub it along the edges of the board. Now what you're doing on this is you're, you're actually taking pieces of the, the part that makes it grippy and you're taking it away. And what we're doing is like rubbing it down so then we can make a nice clean cut. Okay, so here we go. So I just... You can put a little force into it there, Grandma. How's that? That is not enough. <laughs> There you go, so that's good. Now do that all the way around. All right, so that looks pretty good. So the next step is you're gonna take a razor blade, and if you're ever handling any kind of razor blade, it's obviously very sharp, so be careful. And what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna pick a spot to start. I usually start up around this area, and I start from the bottom, just poke it through, and then you're really just going to drag it really fast and try and get a nice, clean cut. So the more you have it like scraped off, the easier time it is to pull that razor blade through. Yeah, I really see now why I did that. Because every spot that's really well sanded like that just comes right off with the yeah. razor blade. Otherwise, you have to really have to work at it. Right. Good. That was pretty good, eh? Yeah. So Lance did pretty good for his first shot. So you want to get a corner edge piece. And then what he's gonna do is gonna sand down all of the sides. Cause if you feel this right now, it's super bumpy and it's just kind of jaggedy and it, it's a little unprofessional. This, you don't have to do this part, but if you wanna be a real grip tape pro, you're gonna take that little piece and you're gonna rub it around. Good, looks good. So you gotta make a hole in the grip tape in order to know where to put the bolts through. Cool, so now he's got holes on this side. So another thing you can do is kind of take the screw like this. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. But just taking the screw and kind of scraping it in there. See how it made a nice hole? It made a nice smooth hole in the grip tape. Pretty good. So I got the hardware. I told Lance specifically to buy Allen key hardware just because generally 
The Allen key doesn't strip as easy as the screw. So the skate tool has a screwdriver on this side, and then on this side it has an Allen key. Cool, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just put those there. And then you always wanna put your hand there and hold it on it, so that when you flip it over and put your truck on, it's gonna be ready. Cool, perfect. So with the trucks, both sides are always with the bolt and the bushings, which are those squishy things. On these trucks, the bushings are white. So just so you know, the bolt always goes on the inside. Cool, so now you got your first truck on there, so put the bolts on those screws. Obviously, just screw them on finger tight one at a time. Okay, so all these little guys are on. So it's really coming together now. Kind of excited. Almost looks like an actual skateboard. Can we just skate it like this? Uh, no, you could try, but it might not work. Cool, do the other side. Cool, so now you got all of the bolts on, the trucks are ready to be screwed down tight. So let's take that skate tool, put it on there. Generally the best way to do this is to kind of hold your board like that. So obviously what you're doing right now is not doing, not doing anything. anything. So take this with that and... Yeah, that's working well. Now how tight do I put this? Extremely tight. Really? Yeah. Because you really want the bolt on this side. Again, you don't want it sticking out. You want it to actually sink down into the skateboard. Generally, the way the bolts work best is to do it kind of like kitty corner, like a crossways. Lance did the bottom one, then he did the one right above it, which is fine. But obviously, there's, there's four holes. So the best way is to sink it down here, and then to sink it down here, and then it's down. And then you can put the other ones. Feels solid. Yeah, both of them are very solidly on there trucks aren't going nowhere. Cool. So that's Lance's board with the trucks on it. And Lance got the, uh, I believe these are the Thunder Light Lows. The size of these are 145. 145 means the width of them fit the 7.75 skateboard. If he would have got 147s, which fit an eight inch skateboard, the trucks would be sticking out a little bit. So you want to match the size of your trucks to the size of your board. Cool, so next you're gonna put on your wheels and your bearings. So Lance got the Spitfire Formula 4. These are the hardness of 99. So 99 is pretty hard. Um, the other hardness they had was 101, which is even harder. And then we're gonna take out your Spitfire Classics bearings. So these bearings look pretty good. They're like your average set of bearings. I think they were $13. So you're just gonna put the bearing on like that and now push the wheel on there. All you need to do is pop the bearing in there. So put the other one in there just like that, same way. If you need more force or if this is kind of hard to push your bearings in, you can put the board down like this and push down on the cement. Now keep in mind, you don't have to get it in there super hard because after all, you're going to be putting the bolt on, and you can just tighten the bolt down and really pop the bearing in there nicely. Okay, that looks good. You never want to clamp this down too tight because you could actually put it so tight that you break your bearings. So kind of a way to judge this is just to get it a good amount and then kind of unscrew it. And you want to have just a little bit of shake in between there. You don't want it to be totally tight. You just want to have just a little bit of shake. So you, you feel that little shake? Yeah. Good, that feels good. The next thing you can check is hold the wheel up and you can spin it. And you're gonna be able to see, like is the wheel like wobbling or is it straight? I think it looks good. It looks great. So your, your bearings are squished in there and your bolt is on there. Everything looks good. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing for all four wheels. So got you some revive stickers and some braille stickers. So this side is the nose and it's more round. That side is more round. That side is more like, like a little more flat. I don't know how to really show that to you guys so you can see. But this side is just a little smaller and a little more flat right here. And this side is more round. So this side is the nose for sure. So put it on there and put it like with the corner coming off the edge. There you go. So the way that's best to do this is put the sticker on, put it down, make sure it's smooth, 
and just leave the edge. And now you're gonna put the next one on because you're gonna, you might need to use this part of it for the end. So keep that in mind. And just so you guys know, this is a, an old graphic. This is obviously a revenge deck. Now it's called Revive. They changed the name from Revenge to Revive Skateboards. So you can get this deck at reviveskateboards.com. So cool, this is perfect. Now you can cut that as smooth as you can and you're gonna use that part to fill in the little gap on the edge. Boom, look at this, beautiful. Boom, it's Lance's first skateboard and Juju's right there. Lance's first skateboard and Juju's right there. Happy first skateboard, Lance. Boom. And Lance is gonna hit the outro. All right guys, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment below. Yeah, now you know how hard it is to figure out where the subscribe button is. <laughs> it's really hard to figure out. Reviveskateboards.com. <laughs>